mimi ndo nawapanga so don't ask oh kwa nini tunatoka music kwa nini tunaenda health kwa nini tunaenda Iisho, iisho, karibu nwambe iisho ni yangu, but anyway, ideally, mimi ndo niko hapa. So, I am running the show, and wewe tutulia kunyo cha yako pole pole ni kupange. So, in the mood of kukupanga, we have shifted gears to matters health. I know we are from music and lifestyle, but then we have, we've gone to health. Then we will go back to music and lifestyle because I have two amazing guests coming up right after this. But in the meantime, do you know what sickle cell anemia is? Do you know the origin of sickle cell anemia? Do you know that sickle cell anemia is an inherited disorder? And like how many people think that it is a sickness that you acquire, but it is actually inherited. That is the conversation I'm having with Dr. Bombe this morning. Yes, I you? hope <coughs> I pronounce your name correctly. Yeah, yes, okay. Dr. Motami. I, I was I was okay. very I was very I was very paranoid. Okay. Sana, Dr. Asante sana. You're well? I'm good. You look sharp. Thank you very much. So what is sickle cell anemia? So sickle cell anemia, uh, it's a genetic disease, as you said, mm -hmm. that is in, uh, it's a recessive autosomal disease. So what happens, ah. recessive, T oh. T take us slow. Oh, okay. Sisi, kukona wenye, tunasikianga tu biological tabs, tunashanga we. Okay, so you get it from your parents. Ah, so okay. uh, so your, your, your parents have to have the recessive gene. Normally, we have three types of uh, hemoglobin. So you all know of uh, red blood cells. Mm -hmm. They help us carry oxygen, they help us carry nutrients to the body. Yeah? So uh, the red blood cells uh, normally have a, a component called hemoglobin. So you have uh, a HBF, normally it's in the fetus, it's called hemoglobin F, and the normal one is called uh, um, hemoglobin B and A. But at times uh, we get something called HBS. Now these actually, uh, at times uh, we get a uh, the the changing I'm trying to be as as, as plain as, as plain possible. As possible. <laughs> uh, so normally, what happens in the sixth alle uh, uh, allele of the of the gene, there's a replacement of uh, glutamic acid with something called valine. valine. And by so doing, the uh, the, the, the 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 person gets the the sickly the sickly kind of uh, of cells. Actually, uh, the demographics show that we are. Uh, Every year in Kenya, we have about 15,000 people, 15,000 birds of sickle cell anemia. And so actually, we get it from our parents, and it makes, normally the, the rebuses are actually biconcave in size. So it makes them sickly kind, you know, like, like a cycle, like a cycle, eh? like a crescent moon. Mm -hmm. Yes. So ideally, red blood cells should be? Biconcave. Biconcave. Yeah, biconcave. Biconcave ni shape gen sa sayo. Biconcave ni, uh, it's more like a bean, you know? Like oh, a oh, bean. Kabin. Kama bean. Kama bean, kama ah. bean. Vila bean in a car. Okay. Yes. So when you have a sickle cell, it is? Yes. Instead of being being like, to assume iko ibi. Iko ibi. So instead of being like this, it looks like, it, like it, it looks like a moon. Like a moon, the crescent moon. Ah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So how, how is it diagnosed? So normally, uh, we can, we, we do, we, there are two types of diagnosis we can do. Mm -hmm. we, we can have a, uh, uh, a prenatal, uh, as, as, in, uh, as in when you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. So this one is quite invasive, Kidogo. So what happens, uh, we do something called aminosentences. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not quite recommended because at times it can, it can terminate the pregnancy. So what happens, we, we get uh, a needle through an mm -hmm. ultrasound. We go directly into the, into the placenta, uh, into the mother's womb. You know, you're pregnant, we go directly there. And then wow. we take a sample. Goja. Mm -hmm. You you dunga the tumbo. Yes, through uh yeah we, 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 we but we get it by the natural sound. It's done by a professional, by a by a doctor. Isn't it painful? It's not quite. It's not painful. It's not painful. It's not painful. Yeah, uh -huh. it's done in the hospital setting. So then we get the sample. Then we can do the the PCR, the the, the gene PCR, and we can be able to to say that this this baby will have uh will have what it's going to have uh we can diagnose now or we, we can tell that the baby is going to have sickle cell anemia. Yes. So, at what point do I, because now, from mm -hmm. your explanation of yes. that, at what point do I start thinking, or mm -hmm. rather, mm -hmm. doubting yes. that, hey, my child might have sickle cell. So, what makes me mm -hmm. want to come to perform that uh, uh, test? Normally, yeah, I, I told you, uh, sickle cell is, is, is a genetic disease. Uh -huh. So, normally, you, you'll have uh, gotten these symptoms. Uh, maybe uh, there's a family history that is going to guide you towards that. Mm -hmm. So, remember, it follows some familiar lines. Mm. So we, uh, with sickle cell, uh, the symptoms, majorly the symptoms are, actually the symptoms are, uh, 
uh, you, you, there's so much pain in the joints and so many things. And actually, even these babies don't get to celebrate their their their, birth, their, their fifth their fifth birthday. Most of the, these babies, but you have wow. if you have a history of sickle cell anemia, it's good to to screen and get this test. So ah, the amino synthesis. Okay. Uh, let me get go back uh, to the to the to, 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 to how do you diagnose and mm -hmm. how do you get to know it. So also you can take blood smears. Now that the baby is born, you can take a blood smear, and through microscopy you're going to identify now that these red blood cells, mm -hmm. they're not biconcave as you said earlier. Mm -hmm. They look like a crescent moon. Mm -hmm. And now we are sure it's sickle cell anemia. So what makes this true? Uh, what makes people die? Um, what kills people okay. from uh, sickle cell? Okay, that's a good question. So what happens uh, in sickle cell, uh, I, you know, I, it affects so many parts of our, of, of our mm -hmm. almo almost all the organs of, of, the, of the body, mainly in kids, uh, it, it affects our um, our spleen, the spleen. So what happens? This, uh, unlike you know, the biconcave nature of the red blood cells makes it easy for it to mm. to transverse these small blood vessels, the capillaries, the arteries, and the arterioles. But now, when thick, uh, when you have sickle cell anemia, they tend to clump together. So when they clump together, they block these blood vessels. So m most of the time. Uh, the normal life cycle for a normal red blood cell is about 120 days. So, but this one is uh, about 20 days. The life cycle is 20 days, mm -hmm. 20 to 40 days, maximum of 40 days. Because they are sickly, so the liver is actually breaking them down because they are they're not the right ones. They, they break them down. The spleen is also involved in, in breaking this down, uh, in breaking down the sickly red blood, the, 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 the sickly, uh, red blood cells. Mm -hmm. So once they block, they cause and we call it auto autosplenectomy, like the, the, the spleen itself dies off. And spleen is a very important organ which comes to our immune, to our immunity. So once the spleen is gone, we are now susceptible to, we are susceptible to uh, all kinds of diseases, all kinds of uh, osteomyelitis, because now we have salmonella mm -hmm. coming in, mm -hmm. all kinds of other diseases, because now we can't fight back. Mm -hmm. But majorly what kills these babies is even the anemia, remember? This, the body is recognizing that these mm. red blood cells, they're not normal. Mm. So it's destroying them at a very, very fast rate. Mm. So every time these babies are on transfusion, transfusion, that's why we have them not even getting to a certain age. Because, you know, there is, there is so much destruction of these red blood cells mm. on and off. So anemia is the main cause of death. And also, uh, but mostly the patients who will come to the hospital will come because of, cause of pain. Ah. There's a lot of pain. Okay. So what, what brings patients to the hospital is that they are pain. They, they, they feel pain. Pain. Okay. So it's called ductilitis. Uh, ah. I, I hope. Uh, <laughs> the good thing is that you mm. mentioned and you're, mm. and you're explaining. So yes. at least we are not floating. Yes. So ductilitis means that now in our joints, uh, the joints, because now remember, I told you that they are clamping together. The sickle cells are clamping together and they're going to the joints. So when, when they go to the joints, they, they cause inflammation. There's a lot of pain that, that comes with that. So when they come and then we're able to know, they, uh, if you just do a smear, you, you're going to find out that the, the RBS actually, mm. the, the red blood cells are actually sickly. They look like a crescent moon now. Mm. Yes. Wow. Is sickle cell a disease, an, in an illness? Uh, you can say it's an illness. Yeah, uh, it, it's an illness. You can say it's an illness, but it's a, it's a condition. Let's call it uh -huh. a genetic condition. Okay. That's the right term to use. What other genetic conditions are there? Other genetic conditions mm -hmm. that General conditions. General, before General. we go back to sickle cell. Okay, then. okay. We have some genetic conditions. Uh, uh, we have, uh, uh, by the way, do you know, actually, most, most diseases have, have, have a genetic aspect from it. We even uh -huh. have, have you ever heard of di type 1 diabetes, whereby the body is not able to, your, your pancreas, the, beta, the, the pancreas, a place called the SLS of Langerhats, the beta cells are not able to, to produce insulin. Mm. So that, that's a kind of a genetic disease. Wow. Yes, so there are, uh, uh, most diseases have a genetic aspect to it. Actually, most diseases, we, uh, we, I normally say, a disease has a genetic part of it, an environmental part of it, and the lifestyle mm -hmm. part of it. So when they mm -hmm. integrate together, mm -hmm. that's where we get the, the full disease coming out. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So what is sickle cell trait? Trait. Mm -hmm. Sickle cell trait, it's meaning that you, you don't have the normal, the normal uh, hemoglobin. You're having the recessive oh. HBS. It's called HBS, that's the sickle cell trait, yeah. Amazing. Yes. So what medical problems are caused by sickle cell anemia? 
what sorry what medical problems are caused oh. by sickle cell very anemia. good okay so these medical problems the first one i said it was dactylis mm -hmm. we also have something called pyrepizim pyrepizim uh, okay pyrepizim <laughs> lol here my magina yeah. now pyrepizim uh, i actually uh a while back i seen a patient with pyrepizim so what happens this is a prolonged uh erection that goes for a very long time remember mm -hmm. blood is uh is going to the genitalia then it clumps then this patient gets a prolonged painful erection that that stays for a long time. You also have osteomyelitis. That's for men. That's for men. Okay. Yes, that's for men. We also have something called acute chest pain. Remember, in our in our lungs, we have very small vessels. Remember the sick, the 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 the, the, the our our our, sickle, our 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 RBS are sickly. They are they are, they are like the crescent moon. They clamp in together. Mm -hmm. The hydrophilic. They clamp in together. They block these small vessels, and they cause an acute chest uh, chest pain and acute chest attacks actually which kills adults now imagine this happening to your brain also mm -hmm. in the brain we have very very small vessels normally call them the circle of wheelies in the brain we have very small 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 vessels now at times uh, this the sickle cells can go clump in together into the brain they can cause a hemorrhagic stroke they can cause a stroke they can cause a busting of an artery in the mm -hmm. brain resulting to a stroke yes you also have wow. s in babies actually so we can get in, in early stages, we have jaundice, mm -hmm. and now this jaundice is the, you know you know jaundice is the yellowing mm -hmm. of the skin, because you have an, an excess breakdown of the immature sickle cell in the liver, which is going to cause the liver to overwork. You're going to have an enlarged liver. You call it You call it hepatomegaly. The spleen is also there. It's getting larger and larger, and at some point it gets an auto splenectomy, like it dies off on its own. Ah. So the major symptoms mainly are those ones we have the pyrepizim, the acute chest pain, stroke, mm -hmm. pain, actually pain in the joints, a lot of pain in the joints. Yes. Mm. Wow. Yes. Hey. Okay. Yes. So you said that not many children make it past the age of five. Okay, yes. I had a friend who died at six okay. from sickle so cell. Okay. How many people mm -hmm. rather surpass that number and grow? Uh, and so when they do, yes. what's the most they can live? Okay. Um, Just a rough estimate. Yeah. Uh, according to the to the to the current data, we have uh, we, we have about about uh, more, more more than more than sixty percent of these babies don't make it past age, mm -hmm. the age of five, and also most of them don't get to the age of forty. Ah. Most they don't get to the age of forty. So Remem if you pass six, like yes. assuming you've passed five, yes, you won't make it to 40 yes okay yes it's very rare however uh with uh remember this uh you remember your body is destroying this sickle cell every other time so mm -hmm. you need lots of transfusion being there you need you wow. need blood you know you need blood transfusion almost every other time wow. and uh yes because it's a it's a, it's a multi-systemic disease that mm -hmm. affects almost everything you know almost every part of your body requires the red blood cells so what are the signs of um you know this part you've said well, yes. people come to the hospital because they have pain. Yes. So what are other what are the other things that scream sickle cell? Uh, anemia, low HB. So let's say well, one, one, uh, in people who have sickle cell, once you do uh, uh, a full hemogram, a full hemogram is where you take a blood sample and you screen mm -hmm. for everything. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you specifically check the, the hemoglobin, it's very low. Ah. It's very, very low. It's going to be maybe it's at 8. Normally the normal HB for for an adult woman is between 12 to 14. For an adult male is 14 to 18. But ah. now you find it's almost even half. It's about seven, eight. So that's that's the first thing that you can be able to know, you could suspect about sickle cell anemia. Also, remember in these babies, we have in stunted growth. Ah, stunted okay. growth. They can't grow, you know, the, the normal growth patterns. You know, uh, we have these developmental mm -hmm. milestones that we are able to, to observe as the baby grows from the age of, uh, you know, from the time they are born, we expect maybe by one year, we expect the baby to be sitting alone, yeah. without support, chlorine and everything. So these babies normally have delayed milestones. That's a very, very important worker to show that these delayed milestones uh, and some kind of small retardedness. Kidogo. Sorry. Yes. People that have sickle cell. Yes. How do they manage it? How do they manage it? <coughs> so sickle cell, uh, it's not treatable. Uh -huh. You can see it's treatable. Okay, but we have some options that are treatable. Um, so it is a drug called hy hydroxyurea that is used to manage the, mm -hmm. the it is used to manage sickle cell. Uh, 
but currently we, are, we have been seeing advancement in, uh, there's so much advancement in technology and actually some people are getting something called stem cell therapy. Mm -hmm. So by stem cell therapy is where we do bone marrow transplant. Mm. So uh, you can donate, you know, now let's, let, there's a baby who is, uh, or, or a patient has sickle cell anemia. So what happens, we get rid of, remember blood is made in our, in our long bones in the, in the red marrow, sorry. sorry. Excuse me. Okay, <coughs> that blood is made in the, in the marrow, so we remove it and you donate, you're given another, another bone marrow, which mm -hmm. is going to help you now make new and now not sickly, not, not, mm -hmm. not, 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 not the sickly uh, uh, red blood cells. So stem cell therapy is the, is the future of, for the treatment of sickle cell anemia. Wow. Yes. What, what cautions would you say people should take? Uh, people should take? For sickle, uh, mm -hmm. to, okay, it's very good actually. Uh, it's good to, if, if you're planning to settle down with your, with <laughs> your partner, it's, it's good to know the genetical history. Uh, it's possible now, nowadays to do some genetical screening or you can go and and have and check and check if you are at risk of, or if, if you have if you, you have the trait you have carried the trait in your gene, so because mm -hmm. uh, if if you if you are two carriers there's a fifty percent chance that you're going to have a baby that is going to do it to get to get sickle cell. So kuna ala watu wenye biology iliwavukia nje. Okay. Two kuna mwenye alifanya physics seka muafanya biology who is a carrier? A carrier. Mm -hmm. A carrier is someone who now has the recessive gene. Uh, Akari is a person who has the recessive gene. Now they have the HBS. Now, no, not the normal HB. Mm. Okay, in in the in inside 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 the, the the red blood cells. Yes. Can you be a carrier and not know? Yes. Uh, yes. So it can hide. It can hide, oh. but now if if you're a you're a carrier of that recessive gene and you meet another partner who is a carrier of that recessive gene, so they're going to have the recessive are going to come out. So uh, you know they're going to come together. And they're going to be now dominant at that time. So it's, auto, it's, it's a recessive dominant. It's going to come out as. So as, as part of the preventive measures. Yes. Assuming that, uh, so that we get it straight. Yes. Assuming that I, I want to get married. Yes. Person X wants to marry me. Yes. So in a layman's language. Yes. To kienda kwa Yes. What should we, what should we know? Like, um. Niki kwa na blood type gani ni si owe uyu mtu na kikuwa na blood type gani ni si asini owe. So what, uh, as, I, okay, as I said, okay, you, you mean generally or in, like in, in, in or generally? Generally. Yeah. Assuming that a couple is here, they want yes. to get married. They don't know about recessive carriers, blah, yes, blah, yes, blah. Yes. Them they know then. Yeah, it's, it's, they, it's they, love they and getting yes, married. Yes, it's love and getting married. Yes. And then, hey, you need to go and get tested for some of these recess factors, these of it is or manini, yes. genetic issues. Yes. So in layman's language, how do they know that? Eh, keep off person X, keep off person Y. Okay, so uh, I wouldn't want to say this, but you know, you know, <laughs> you know, you know love is... <laughs> yeah, love is blind. Okay, yeah, love is blind. But now what happens, uh, we, we, we just do the genetic screening. So you're going to get samples from, uh -huh. from both of them, mm -hmm. and then you're going to, to, to check for specifically for this, for this kind of, for, for the gene for that gene of the, are, are, are they carrying any, any of these genetic illnesses? Mm -hmm. You're going to identify. It's very easy through the PCR and other things. It's mm -hmm. very easy to isolate mm -hmm. the, the DNA and isolate the gene so that we can know if they are carriers of all these other things. It's like this other thing that people talk about, the, 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 the restless factor. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the man is uh, restless positive, the wife is restless negative, mm -hmm. and you know that the first baby won't, uh, won't get any kind of uh, symptom, but the second baby, because the body has been exposed, mm. there'll be antibodies that are going to fight the consecutive mm. pregnancy. So it's very, in this era, uh, where we have the Gen Z's and everybody else, it's very good to get screening and get to know if you're compatible. Mm -hmm. So you can avoid uh, let, uh, the consequences that come, come in with the with proper screening. Yes. Are there other preventive measures you would say mm -hmm. uh, patients of sickle cell anemia should take i know you've spoken of um, getting tested yes. before yes is there any other thing nutrition uh, nutrition wise diet especially for patients now okay. is there something more they can do to ensure that they live a healthier life yeah uh that uh in terms of eating they can eat quite well but remember this condition mm -hmm. it's it, it's way out of their control most of the times mm -hmm. so it's, it's something that is inside you know it, it's a genetical it's, it's something that you can't quite really change uh, but it's good to, to th there are some danger signs, so make sure you, you, you're, you're following up. Remember, uh, 
uh, in sickle cell anemia, we're injuring our kidneys a lot. Because remember also, we are having these sickly cells also going clamping in the renal papillae and causing a lot of damage to the kidneys. So it's good to follow up with, with, a, with a physician so that we can be able to, 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 prevent, to prevent these other, other things. Uh, and, and, get, and get blood when, when needed, transfusions when needed. Yes. So what but we... Uh -huh. Yes, sorry. Mm -hmm. Just keep talking. Sorry, okay. cut you short. So saying it, it's good, it's, it's very good to, mm -hmm. to make sure you get renal reviews, mm -hmm. a whole systemic reviews, and making sure that you always, you are, you're always in, 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 in good shape. Yeah. What yeah. medications are yeah. used in sickle cell? Yeah, the medication that is majorly used is called hydroxyurea. Mm -hmm. It's called hydroxyurea. Uh, what, what does it help? Uh, it, it makes these cells not to be, to mm -hmm. be the crescent, like, you know? It makes it not, not to be sickly, like. Mm -hmm. But the main definitive treatment, as I said earlier, is a stem cell therapy. It is a stem cell therapy, where you change the stem cells. Now these are cells, stem cells are potent cells that are able to, to form other new cells. But the main drug that, uh, that is known is hydroxyurea. And also, blood is also, we can, you, you, these patients always need blood. So mm. their families have to continue, and uh, people, people of good, it's, it's very good better for people to donate blood, because ah. you'll be helping uh, mostly these patients. So so to, 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 to try a dam. I think, you know, I've never donated. You need to donate. I, I am you afraid. Why? Of, Why? of syringes. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, ah, yes, it's not painful. It. Once the needle is inside, it's inside, it's not painful at all. It's not painful at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already feeling a frightened side of me. But as we... If you're healthy and you're okay, you should actually donate maybe a, a maximum of two times in a year. Mm -hmm. You should, yeah. Or uh, at least once in a year. I recommend you, you, you donate. <laughs> yeah. I think mm. I need more courage, a little bit, slight more courage. Okay. But anyway, as we come to an end of this conversation, yes. uh, is, sickle, is, is sickle cell anemia something to be, I am going to use this one very lightly because I don't have, for lack of a better word, yes. embarrassed or rather ashamed about? No, it's not that you should, should be ashamed about or stigmatize people about it. Uh, remember, uh, nobody nobody chooses to be mm -hmm. to, to have the sickle cell. So what happens is that some that you've just got in your in, in your genetic I, in your genes, the the glutamic acid was replaced by valine, and it's it's, it's beyond your control in that kind of a case. Mm -hmm. So it's something that sh we should uh, um, uh, encourage people not, not even to hide their kids, seek treatment to prolong mm -hmm. life, so that you can have mm -hmm. this. You can live to a normal life if you, if you're able to have uh, good following up with. Uh, good follow up with your healthcare providers and also the government coming in to provide this essential care to these people because most of most of them end up in renal failure and may require uh, dialysis which is too expensive mm -hmm. yes so it's not something you should be ashamed about but it's also good to to really encourage uh, people that sort of, uh, if you if you have sickle cell it doesn't mean it's a death sentence automatically mm -hmm. but if it could follow up and good with good healthcare mm -hmm. we're able to to prolong life and sustain life. Mm. Yes. Finally, yes. how do we show love to sickle cell patients? Uh, uh, by, by all means, give uh, donate donate your blood. Mm -hmm. Donate donate blood. They need transfusion. Donate blood to them. Mm -hmm. See them. Encourage them. Don't show them the whole picture of just you know you know. Don't be too sorry for them. You know. Show them they're also human beings. Let them be engaged in other in mm -hmm. other in other things, uh, uh, normal things. Let them go to school. Let them study. The Careers are there. They live a normal life. Amazing. Yes. Thank yes. you so much, Dr. for your time Thank and you for the much. wisdom. I mean, Thank it's not every much. day we get this information out there. Asante. We I forgot to mention uh, where you practice. So please, as we will wrap up, tell us where you practice, your, your, your practice, and where we can find you. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, um, uh, I I practice at Modami Family Hospital. It's in Kabete. Yes, that's where I work. Yes, you, uh, uh, you, you can find us. Uh, our website is uh, www.modamifamilyhospital.com. Yes. Amazing. Dr. Asante Sana. Asante. I'll take up your challenge for donating blood. Please. Let me think about it. Yes. Thank you very much. But thank you for your time. Asante. That was Dr. talking to us about sickle cell anemia. To me, Mbiwa, do not hide your children. When I was growing up, I used to see parents hiding children of sickle cell anemia. And then two, I used to see children suffering from, because I had a friend, I even remember her to date, she passed on. May her soul still keep resting in peace. She passed on about almost 20 years ago. Yeah. 
that was a long time ago. She passed on at around six years. Yeah, that's actually by like 20 plus years ago. And before she died, she was victimized. She was being hidden. stigmatized, And it was not nice. So if you're a parent having a sickle cell child, know that it is normal. It is okay. It is not a death sentence. And if you are a patient of sickle cell anemia, take care of yourself and, and, and be nice and kinder to yourself and the people around you. We are taking a very short, tiny break. We will be back with more.